Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and appreciate you stopping in today to check out my video. And today we are back doing a review. And before we start the review, I just want to give an update on um, the, all my older reviews. I'm going to go through them and update them and give a rating on a five star basis. And then I'm also going to put the prices down for each model so that way you all have a little bit more information of what they cost and what, in my opinion, what they rate at. So you can compare and see what, you know, one's worth the extra money over another or vice versa. Um, so I'm going to go through that and I'm going to put updated on the, on next to the, you know, in the uh, description or on the, uh, the uh, you know on the title of that video so you'll know it's updated and you can check it out later on if you want to I'll probably hopefully have it done within about a week or something and so if you want to go back and check those and see the price and what I rate them at uh, you know I hope you go back and check those back out but um, let's start today with the uh, this is gonna be an Audi R8 GT3 car and this one is from Paragon and then over here I have another Audi R8 GT3 car, and it's from AutoArt. So we'll start with the one from Paragon first, and do a little comparo. Uh, this is a 2015. It raced in the 24 Hours of Nurburgring, and it won the 24 Hours of Nurburgring in 2015. So uh, completed 156 laps. And of course, this is the stand it came on. And it's got Michelin tires with Brembo brakes, slotted rotors. Let's move this back a little bit so I can get a little bit better view of it. Not bad detail. Not the greatest, but not bad. Uh, the paint looks okay. It's not of the highest of quality, but it's not real bad. Uh, there's no aerials on the top, I've noticed. Got the hatch there, but no aerials. And the headlight lenses look... The headlights look kind of plain and so does the grill there in the front it's just plastic and it looks like it's supposed to be a toe strap it looks like in the front or something there I can't really it doesn't that's what it's supposed to look like I think again you can see a lot of little areas where it's kind of cheapened up a little bit is what I look at um, you know like is a radiator in there with the fan it looks you know it's you know I, I I like the effort but it does look a little cheap um so you got the fuel cap there it's just a circle and of course the engine there's the engine which is the detail is not terrible but Looks kind of toyish to me. Uh, the back. There's the exhaust right there. The splitter. Uh, tail lights don't look too bad. Tail light, tail lights look okay. Um, the wing looks. You know, decent, looks nice. Of course, you can see the cage. Of course, it doesn't open up. It's 118, too, also, and it's sealed. Kind of hard to see the insides. 
You can see the steering wheel there. The dash and the cage. Let me spin this thing around so you can see the seat on this side. Yeah, you can see the seat there. It's Audi Sport Customer Racing. As you can see the filler cap on there, and you can see the filler cap on there. It looks kind of plain. Like I said, it's kind of toyish. Um, not a bad model, but it's you can tell that they cut corners in a lot of areas. Uh, it was basically like $135. And, uh, you know, it's, again, uh, you can just tell there's a few areas that almost looks a little toyish, not really a, a detailed model. And let's go over here to the auto art. And of course, it's just on this stand. I just put it on here to easier to, to move around because they don't they come in a styrofoam box type thing. Um, and this is the 2018 Bathurst 12 Hours winner. And again, you can see the paint it looks like it has a little bit more depth than the uh, Paragon. Uh, the headlights look like they have a little bit more detail to me. So does the grill. So does a toe strap. I mean, it looks like a real toe strap. Um, and she got the driver's hatch with the arrows and the aerials there on the top. I like that. Uh, there's the radiator with the uh, fan there. It looks a little bit more realistic. I like that. And of course you have the, you know, it says, even says V10 there on the fender. And of course this has Pirelli, Pirelli tires with the Brembo brakes, which I still say that as far as wheels and you know, tires and brakes and all those kinds of things, Auto Art does always they just do a great job. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I think they're right up there at the top. Tires always look like they're just came off the track and you know they got different colors on the hubs of the brakes and just a little bit more detail on those things. Um, got the canards on the front, window net there and the inside. You can see the uh, steering wheel we can kind of see in there. Good detail in there. Of course the doors open on, on the auto arts which I always like. Spin this around to the back. Exhaust. Tail lights look good. And of course, the wing looks like carbon fiber, and I, I like that. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is a new release, so I mean, this release is uh, fairly new. And there's the engine detail. Which again, I, I don't, I don't put that near the top. It's lacking some too, um, but it is a notch above the Paragon. I think it does look better, a little bit better detail than the Paragon does, but uh, still could use room for an improvement for sure. Uh, let's see what's on this side. Now, see, there's the filler cap, the quick disconnect. I mean, they have that on this side, where the Paragon didn't have it on either side. So, I, I mean, again, I like that. A little bit more uh, realistic. To uh, and, and then, of course, you got the inside there. You can, there you can see the steering wheel a little bit better there. And all the other details inside. Of course, the wheels and tires on this side. And again, the the paint is you know looks good. I mean, it's uh, I've seen better on Auto Arts, but this is definitely a little different because it's got some like you know different uh, like a gloss, semi gloss thing kind of going on. So it's a little bit different. And of course, this rolls and steers, so that's a plus. It see it, it rolls.
Again, the, you know, the front end looks really nice. And of course, you can see the seat there. And it looks really good. I mean, I, again, I mean, I, I'm, for the price point, I think Auto Art's, you know, a really good model for what you're paying. Um, I paid 154 for the Auto Art. And like I said, about 134, I think it was, for the Paragon. Um, in my opinion, you know, the $20, it's worth, it's, I'd gladly spend the $20 to have the Auto Art over the Paragon, and that's just, but that's just me. Um, I think the quality is worth it to extra $20. And on the rate, I'm not, on the rating I'm talking about, um, I would give the Paragon uh, a three. And that's probably a, a week three. And that's just, again, this is just my opinion. Um, and I would give the auto art uh, a four star so again i think it's it's definitely nice and of course i give it a little bit extra because of the doors open and it does steer um and roll all all those so um again i really i really like the auto arts and this one is no exception um a very well nice built model And I hope you come back and check out the uh, other reviews after I update those. As far as just checking on the, uh, you know, what the ranking is on those, what the, you know, what the ranking and the prices. And uh, of course, these models all they came assembled. Neither either one of them, uh, both of them, were just came just the way they sit. So they don't. I didn't have to assemble anything on these. I know this is a little bit longer review, but uh, again, it was you know both you know, two models. I just kind of wanted to go through and see they're both the same uh, same car, but a um, little bit different price point and quality. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the review, and I hope you check out some of my other videos, reviews, or sim racing or other things going on. And uh, I hope you like and subscribe and hit the bell and come back and visit and i just want to say thank you to everybody for all the feedback and i just i love all the feedback and comments and all that stuff and i hope you all come back and visit again y'all take care see ya